to show you around for one quick. There are some items you can pick down from downstairs, just behind here. And we continue, and you can go. Like that. But a little bit worn there. Oh, this is the medallion. I will show you what this. Medallions used to do an auto. I can't even say it. Um, automatic. With bonding process, you're basically running around compounds. What it is, I will show you what it is later. So, I'll explain about that later on. So, we'll continue on. And, there's one more item down here you can get. Once you get, uh, got the clothes on, of course. There's a secret item that you can use this, um, when you get the dog later. Maxima. Now, this one is a weapon. By creating by polished except macro ore, this item can sit by standing on the ground. If the enemy runs over with a magnet, it will explode and do damage to him. Honestly, it does damage, but there are more to this. So, we continue on. And there is a puzzle right here. Um, this is just for optional if you want to do this one in here. This door has been blocked by a wooden box. There's, there's got to be something I can do. That is a clue, and it's a puzzle. You'll learn that later on. So, further ado, we continue on now. And there's a room right there. I'm not getting into that. So, we continue on. And, and here's something. Now, if you guys are a fan of the Clock Tower series, which personally I never played them, here's something on the clue. This hiding ground. What according to somebody told GamerCat09, what she made a quote, this game was meant to be Clock Tower 4. Now, I don't know if that was actually true or not, but it's got a similar similarities of um, Clock Tower 3. Now, this one, and look at this. This clock stretched out for a moment in time. Save. Save across the screen. Yes, I'm going to save. Now, as you see, I have played this game in the past on hard, so I will do this. And I will stop right here, and I will see you guys later, and don't worry, there will be more. Okay, until next time, bye!